Hello, welcome back everyone. This is Cast Mirage. Welcome back to this Fire Emblem Warrior 3 Hopes playthrough. Let's begin. Alright, uh, as you can see, we I did a lot of stuff while I was off stream. Mainly, I uh, I basically tr because um, as you as if you remember, I was completely broke. I think I was down to like 18 gil or something like that at the end of a uh, stream on Thursday. So what I did on fr Thursday night and Friday was I went back. I went to the record keeper and uh, I basically S ranked everything except chapter six. Uh, I will say, like, S-ranking everything up till chapter 4 was super easy. Like, only took me one try. The only thing that was difficult is this one. Uh, um, this one which where you fight Lenato in the fog. The fight itself is not hard. You have, like, in order to S-rank, you need um three different things. Let me, let me see if I can... Uh, uh, yeah, let's just press like three of them and uh, be done with it here. Uh, yeah, S rank you need to complete at 15 minutes, which shouldn't be a problem. It does isn't a problem. Enemy defeated 1800. That combined with the 15 minutes can, uh, time thing made me fail once. Uh, I got like meaning I got the um, I got the completion time and damage taken, but I was like. 17 four, uh, 714 uh, enemy defeated, like something weird like that. I was so close, and I had like three minutes left. I, if I knew how close I was, I would have defeated more enemies. The damage taken part is the most difficult thing because you're in a time crunch, and the only thing that can deal like any significant damage on this map is balance. When Balas shows up, um, when I when once I went to fight him, I had Dimitri, the Doom, uh, Shad, and Ingrid, well, which are like my three best characters. I uh, I switched to Dimitri. Like Balas hit um, Dimi uh, not Dimitri, uh, the Doom. Balas hit the Doom once, it, and then I pause the game to see how much damage I can. It was like one hundred and one. What's <laughs> like? Okay, so that this fight took me four times before completing it. So yeah, but uh, the good thing is after the only difficulty part is the battle fight. So after the battle fight, you can pause the game to check out how much damage you have take, uh, how much damage you have taken so far, and if you surpass like 15, 50 percent or like close to. Uh, 50 percent or like because if you're at like 45 or something like that you can just quit the game and quit the chapter and restart it. so that's not too bad uh i haven't done chapter six yet because i'm still at chapter six i think uh i should get at least like two chapters away before coming back to s rank all of them or at least one chapter away all right so that's it today we are going to uh, today we're going to finish this one, and uh, then we're going to do the main story. I don't know how long it's going to take, but we are not going to do that. Not going to be start doing it now. We are. What we are going to do is uh, because we. I try to take a lot of diverse um characters into into the fights. So nope. Uh, so we Shaz is at level twenty, Dimitri is nineteen, the Dunes nineteen, Felix is nineteen, Ash is eighteen, uh, Sylvain is eighteen, uh, Mercedes is eighteen, Annette is eighteen, Ingrid is nineteen, Rodriguez is nineteen, Dorothea is nineteen, Petra is twenty, and uh, I I said I don't know who you can recruit in the Blue Lion route. If I if I is possible, I want to recruit Mercedes. Um, um, who was the? Uh, hold on. Who's the? Um, hold on. Who else is in the Golden Deer? That I want to recruit. I want to recruit Shamir and Catherine. Um, who's the Golden Deer character that I wanted to recruit? Leone. Yeah, Leone. Yeah, that's right, Leone. Uh, I wanted to recruit Leone, 
So, uh, I think I'm gonna put Roderick on the back burner. If he's ever motivated, I'm going to take him into battle, but I... As far as things are going, I don't think I need to... I don't really think I need to take him into any more battles, honestly. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna take the shield I gave him away, leather shield. I got an iron shield by opening a chest in one of the chapters. Alright. So, that's, uh, that's... Uh, because we have like four more characters that's gonna join, so I don't. Um, I'm already gonna put Happy Status and Flame on the back burner. I'm definitely. I don't think Rodrigue can uh, go with us anymore. All right. So we got a lot of support that we can watch. I'm going to watch some of it and then start a chap, do a chapter, do a fight, and then watch some more and then do another fight. Some like space these out. I don't want to watch like 30 minutes worth of support cutscenes. So, Sylvain and Mercedes first. Hey, just the guy I wanted to see. I've got a bit of a favor to ask. You know that special sword you fight with? Well, I was wondering if you'd let me take a peek at it. Ah, uh, sure. Sure, if you want. Can't say I expected this kind of interest coming from you, though. It'd be one thing if it were Dimitri or Felix asking. You know how they get about weapons. But you? You do remember I'm the heir to House Gatia, don't you? I've been studying the art of combat ever since I was just a kid. Well, you always skip out on training, so... Anyway, here. This work? It sure does. What a weird sword. You know what it's made of? It doesn't look like iron or steel to me. I couldn't tell you. Honestly, I have no idea. What about how you can make it appear right out of thin air? Is that some sort of magic? Nah, not exactly. It kind of just comes to me when I call it. Well, that's vague. Uh, one more question, then. Would I be able to use your sword if I wanted to? Doubt it. The thing vanishes the second I let go of it. But, hey... Why do you want to know so much about it anyway? I guess I was just thinking how nice it'd be if there were more weapons like yours out in the world. You know, a hero's relic can take down hundreds or even thousands of soldiers in a single swing. Depending on who's doing the swing, of course. But as soon as the wielder dies, that's it. If you don't have a crest, it's nothing more than a fancy-looking hunk of whatever they're made of. Of course, that wouldn't be an issue if everyone could just use a sword like yours. Maybe so, but that doesn't make it possible. I mean, there's still so much even I don't know about. It. Right? It's not like you can just make a second one or something. That's actually a pretty interesting idea. You've given this a lot of thought, haven't you? Hey, you're talking to the future Margaret Gatti here, remember? Of course I'd think about this kind of stuff. After all, us nobles wouldn't have nearly as much work to do if everyone could fight with the relics. And then I could spend all my time goofing off, just like I did back at the academy. Yeah, in your dreams. Don't make me tell Ingrid about this. Whoa now, you don't need to do that. Have a heart. Come on, let's see that sword of yours a little more. Ah, that's a nice conversation. Mercedes, let's go. You're a lifesaver, Mercedes. Could you help me tend to this soldier's wounds next? Lady Mercedes, where would you like me to put this? Oh, um, yes, just a moment, please. You really have your hands full, Mercedes. Anything I can pitch in on? Oh, goodness. I appreciate your offer, but I couldn't possibly ask you to take time out of your day to assist me in these tasks. Hey, don't be like that. Anyone who's still got the legs to stand on after a battle needs to do whatever they can to help. I'm no physician, but I can at least help get some of this stuff organized. But you only just returned from combat yourself. Aren't you exhausted? 
Uh, shrug it off. Let's watch another one and then we can uh we can do another we can do a battle. Uh, Felix and Sylvain, that, sh that should be cool. What were you thinking? Sticking your nose into some soldier's fight. You have a lot of growing up to do if you're still throwing yourself in the middle of random brawls like that. Keep this up, and House Fraldarius's reputation will be rolling in the mud with you. Not to mention how it reflects poorly on his majesty, considering he's the one who made you a duke. <sighs> I know all that. Do you? Because you don't look like a man who's achieved some fantastic new enlightenment. This is rich coming from you. I liked it better when you used to take the heat. Are you kidding? You were always the one being scolded when we were kids. Only because you were a half would have kept dragging me into your ludicrous schemes. Was that how it was? Whatever you say. But tell me, what's got you swinging your fists around this time? Nothing specific. I just couldn't back down after getting involved. You really need to start being more careful. Look. We've even got a bruise going. Who knows what would happen to Fargus if he lost you? I won't say you'd be fine without me, but you do know I could fall in battle any day now, right? <sighs> Bite your tongue, Felix. Just think for two seconds. What would happen to Fargus and to his majesty if you died? He's got too much on his plate already. He insists on doing everything himself. War with the Empire, battles outside Fodlin, governing the kingdom, reforming the entire social structure of pretty much everything. If he didn't have you at his side, he'd fall flat on his face. You can speak as though you have no stake in this whatsoever. We're in the same situation. One of these days, you'll inherit the title of Margaret Gautier. Are you ready for that? I know, I know. Trust me, I am very well aware. Which is why I always act with the utmost integrity. You're the complete opposite of integrity. Though I suppose you have been attempting to shake some of your own talents recently. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't kill you to pat me on the back every once in a while. You're like a baby that just learned to walk. Head on the back would only knock you over. <laughs> you can try to make up for your past things <laughs> all you want. But that kind of thing isn't easily swept aside. The sooner you realize that, the better. <laughs> ah, that tongue of yours is as sharp as ever, I see. Never change, Felix. I guess I was a touch reckless this time. 
as much as I hate to admit it. So I'll give you that much. All right. Okay, so that's three cutscenes on, um, and uh, yeah, let's do another battle because we have a few more battle before the end of the chapter one. Today's a three-hour stream, yes. Uh, let's do this one. A clash in Gilgengar? Is that is that how you uh, is that how you say that? Gil 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 Gilgengar? Okay, whatever. You get a speed carrot. You cannot use combat or magic vulnerabilities to heal during this battle. Imperial Vanguard has been start Harry and defeat him before the main forces arrive. Activity point reward one. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, you cannot heal. That's uh, that's a little scary. Don't like that one bit. Defeat fighters in the area. Uh. Seven minutes, enemy defeat 500, damage taken 30%. Okay. Um. Uh, you still have Ash? I'm gonna take, hold on. What are the, uh, enemy's levels here? Hold on. Yeah, I can see it on the map, right? Yeah. 19. Okay, it's a good good opportunity to I'll level up Ash a little bit. Uh, okay, so move you to here. Alright, so you stay here. Um, I'm gonna take Felix. Hmm. Yeah, take Felix. Who are these? Oh, these are mages. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So mages. Mages are. Okay. So so Demetrius should be fine here. Then. All right. Let's go. Let's go. One down. Get this dude.
Uh, not a great level up, but I'll take it. Kill him. Alright, there we go. Who's texting me? I'm busy. Hold on, so you can see how you're doing with the uh, the the objectives. So you have seven minutes to complete this. I'm at two and the uh, two minutes and twenty-five seconds. Uh you need five hundred kills, I got two seventy, and you need thirty percent or less. Damage taken, and I got. I'm only at two percent. So this is going pretty well so far. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because rambling on about this is because I have a text and I need to answer it. The okay, so it's kind of important. So I'm gonna give me a second. I need to answer this. I wish people would stop texting me while I'm streaming, but yeah, who knows? Uh, All right, we're back. So you are done with that. Oh no, hold on. Yeah, do this, why not? Level up for the Doom, let's go. Oh, resistance and defense for the Doom is great. But, uh, yeah. You know what I'm gonna say, right? Why magic? Seriously, why magic? Yeah, I was, I was looking at the Doom, I was like, yeah, you know what will be good for the Doom? If I switch him to a mage class. Genius, right? Who's, uh... Alright, Dimitri... Hold on. Why don't you take this, Dimitri? Ash, you go do this. You go deal with that. Am I... Am I supposed to know who you are? Okay. Seriously? Okay, I think that just killed me. Oh no, I'm only at 5%. Alright, I'm fine. Oh, I'm not even
power 8%, 600... Okay, so I should think about finishing this fight soon. Hold on. I'm at 5 minutes. 